The Lord be with you. And also with you. Rejoice in the opportunity in the Lord's house. Hear the word of the Lord. The joy of the Christmas account from the lips of children. We hear our great hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. The key of David. And open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high. And close the path to misery. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Shall come to thee, O Israel. Our bulletin has the order of service. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Gracious Father, thank you for the gift of this night, the joy of children, raising them up to live as your children by faith in Christ, born to save sinners. For it's in Jesus' name we gather, his name we pray. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You may be seated.
from Isaiah chapter 11, 2 through 3. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. Matthew 2, verse 6. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. one and ten. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his root shall bear fruit. In that day the root of Jesse, who shall stand as the signal for peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, as the resting place shall be glorious. And I'll place on his shoulder the key of the house of David, and he shall open and none shall shut, and he shall shut and none shall open.
chapter 9, verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, as them, on them has, has light shined. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am the one who is laid, a fa- laid as a foundation in Zion, a stone, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone of a sure foundation. from Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign behold the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel
open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. The joy of Christmas, Christ is born for you. And O come, O come, Emmanuel, is both an invitation and a promise. From Matthew 1, she will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. God's promise. God's promise is God is with you, and God is for you. In the birth of the babe, from the lips of the angels, fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you born this day in the city of David is the Savior, who's Christ the Lord. Christmas in Christ is fearless, regardless of what you face. And this will be a sign for you. You'll find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly with the angel was a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and singing, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those for whom God is pleased. God is pleased with you through the forgiveness of sins, taking your sins and hanging them on Jesus. Not a pretty tree, but a cross. For this is why Jesus was born, to rescue you, to bring you peace that the world cannot give. The promises, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of the government, and of the peace there'll be no end. And the zeal of the Lord will accomplish this. What's in the name? In the name of Jesus is rescue. In the name of Jesus is life. And the promises that God made God keeps. When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who are under the law, so that you might receive adoption as sons. You are sons of God, and he has sent his spirit into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. It's the joy of Christmas. It's the promises that God makes, God has fulfilled. So let the joy of Christmas be with you today and to life everlasting. Truly, it is a Merry Christmas. In the name of Jesus, amen.
from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. <laughs>
reading from Luke 2, verses 8 through 11. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. A reading from Luke 2, verses 12 through 14. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased.
from Luke 2, 15 through 16. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger.
A reading from Luke 2, 17 through 19. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told to them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Let us pray. Lord, we rejoice in the gift of children, raising up in the, in the fear and knowledge of you, in the gift of holy baptism, in the gift of your word, rejoicing in the gift of the Savior. Christ the Lord is born. May the joy of Christmas, may the joy of the forgiveness of sins be in our homes and with our children, today and to life everlasting. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray the gift of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give to his peace. Amen. Amen.